Next special test that we're going to be doing for the knee are going to be for the posterior cruciate ligaments. Uh, for the first one that we're going to be doing is called the posterior drawer test. For this one we're going to have the, the patient uh, supine uh, starting off uh, with their uh, knee, knee extended off on the table and uh, the athletic trainer is uh, going to be done at the foot or, or lateral to the knee, the knee joint. Uh, and then what we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to uh, flex the knee. Uh, the hip is going to be uh, flexed here at about 45 degrees and the knee is going to be uh, flexed uh, to about 90 degrees of flexion. And the athletic trainer is like the anterior drawer. We're going to sit on their uh, foot. And then for this one we are going to do a um, uh, again, just like for the anterior drawer, we're going to uh, grasp the uh, proximal uh, tibia, uh, putting our uh, thumbs on both sides of the patellar tendon, uh, and then our uh, index fingers can palpate the hamstring muscles, uh, and then uh, other fingers are going to, uh, this is going to be just below the, the joint line and our other fingers can be on our gastroc muscles. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, push the tibia uh, backwards in this direction, uh, feeling for any uh, movement, laxity, or, or a strong end feel. Uh, if there is no, if none of those are, exist, then um, that would be a positive sign for a posterior cruciate ligament sprain. Next one that we're going to be doing is, is called called the uh, Godfrey's 9090 test and for this one we're going to have the patient uh, supine position with their both legs extended and then, um, then the athletic trainer is going to stand uh, next to the patient uh, and what we're going to do is we are going to um, uh, lift the patient's uh, lower legs uh, and we're going to put the hips so that they are uh, flexed at, the hips are flexed at 90 degrees uh, and the knees are flexed at 90 degrees uh, like so. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to be looking at the uh, tibias, both the tibias to see if the, they are um, parallel in this position, so we're looking at the uh, levelness of the tibial tuberosities from a lateral view. Uh, if there's unilateral uh, posteriorly, um, then that would be a um, positive displacement sign for a posterior cruciate ligament sprain. What we're going to do is called the uh, posterior sag sign. Uh, it's also called the gravity drawer test. Uh, and for this one we're going to have the patient supine uh, again with the uh, hip flexed at 45 degrees and the knee joint is going to be flexed at uh, 45 degrees. Um, and then um, while well, athletic trainer is on the lateral side of the knee, we're going to look for any uh, posterior displacement of the um, tibia um, and this would be an indication for a posterior cruciate ligament sprain. Last one that we're going to do is the posterior Lachman test and we're going to have the, the patient uh, supine with their uh, hip and knee extended initially. The athletic trainer is going to be down by the knee uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, flex the knee about uh, 30 degrees of flexion and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to um, grab the anterior portion of the proximal tibia uh, and then we're also uh, uh, anteriorly um, on the proximal tibia or uh, and then on the distal femur we're going to grab it uh, posteriorly to stabilize it 
Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to apply a posterior pressure um, to the tibia. Again, feeling for any um, pain or uh, no end feel or lack of end feel for a positive sign for a uh, posterior cruciate ligament sprain. Uh, we can, just like the uh, Lachman for the anterior cruciate ligament, uh, we can also put a uh, towel or bolster it under the knee. Uh, we can also do a modified one with my knee or off the edge of the table. So any of those modifications for the posterior Lachman can also be done looking for the same signs. Uh, but for indications for a posterior cruciate ligament sprain.